Hey everybody, Debbie here with another Stratega game analysis. In this game, I'm going to have another uh, Marshall Blitzer uh, blitzing on the side, but this time they're going to blitz on my flag side. Now this uh, Marshall Blitzer is a Platinum Marshall player and is one of the best players at Stratego.com. But let's see how the game goes. It's going to be a quick video. <laughs> But we can learn something from it. So right away, I'm hoping he moves over here. But unfortunately, he starts on this side. So I always have to go up and over to cover the flag on the first two moves. If you get a little cocky and try to do something else, a scout will usually come down here and beat you on the third or fourth move. So if you ever play with a flag up front, you better go up and over. Now this is a good move my, by my opponent. Uh, we'll see why in a second. He knew this was a captain. This was lower than a captain, a lieutenant, but he moved forward anyway. And his goal was to get me to scout this piece. Now, I had to scout this piece anyway because I know I'm going to have trouble over here. And unfortunately, my marshal is in a bad spot. I think when you play a, a, a flag on the uh, side here, and you shouldn't do it. You, if you want to maximize your win-loss potential, you never want to play with a flag up here. But if you do, uh, I would ha rather have the marshal either here or here probably ideal to have it here. Now, uh, Gravon uh, site has a lot of archive games with uh, players playing with the flag on the side. And I think almost every game with the flag on the side, the players had the marshal here. Uh, I don't like doing that because you give away your marshal right away in the game if it gets scouted. And it usually will get scouted fairly quickly. Uh, either through a scout or through a lieutenant or captain. So I don't like that. Uh, maybe this player who is a martial blitzer who doesn't mind revealing their martial early could, could do that and play really well. But I think for most players, I think maybe this spot might be the better spot. And you will lose a couple games when you play some uh, lower players that just come down here with a... Uh, a major and maybe lotto or a colonel. There's nothing you can do to stop it. So, but anyway, this was a good play by the uh, Platinum Marshall player to get to, you know, get a scout. All right. So now I'm I'm thinking. Well, I better start opening up the middle to start counterattacking because because this looks not too good here. I figured this was a high piece. So we found a lieutenant, but then I decided, well, we might as well attack to see what it is to help me make a decision. So now that I know it's a marshal, we have to either try to get a marshal up here. Again, uh, this seems like a marshal blitzer. So they blitz on the side with their marshal. All their high pieces are usually on this side. The flag is usually on this side, and the flag is usually open. The general is usually somewhere somewhere in these uh, center squares with the spy and a colonel. So you might have a colonel, spy, general, or general, spy, and then colonel uh, in the center. And then on the other opposite side, you usually have a whole bunch of bombs and all their low pieces. So I still like to come in with the marshal through the center and sacrifice the marshal, take the general, and then follow up with my general and attack towards the marshal side. Now in this game, 
I probably won't be able to get my Marshall since it's so it's so far down here. It would, it would be better if it was up here. I'm probably not going to be able to get my Marshall to uh, sacrifice in the middle. I'm probably going to have to play uh, defense this way. Sometimes you have to go forward with your general in the middle. All right, what do you think this piece is? This piece is a general. Now, what should my opponent who's one of the highest rated players at Stratico.com, what should he do? Should he take my captain or should he take my general? Because he's, he's down three, he's down two lieutenants, but he's up a captain. So if he goes down here, he'll be up two captains and that's, that's a pretty good lead. But my opponent is very smart and he does the right thing. First, he puts pressure on my colonel to move. And now what that means is the game's probably going to be over soon because he's he wants to check what this piece is. He's coming in with his marshal. He's going to be aggressive. But what is he going to do with his general? He does the right thing here. And he takes my general. Now, the reason he did that is probably because all his high pieces, just like all Marshall Blitzers, they tend to have their high pieces on this side. They don't have many bombs over here. And if I got by with my general, he probably knew I was going to come in here and start taking his pieces. And since his Marshall was down here, there was nothing to stop me except a bomb. And if he didn't have any bombs over here, uh, I could uh, get a pretty good lead with Colonel's uh, majors and captains. So he did the right thing. Uh, you want to play defense first. He can always get this captain later. But if I got by here and took his colonel or major, he's not going to get them back again. So he definitely did the right thing to swap generals and protect his probably flag side. And it's probably open as well. So that, that was the right call to swap generals instead of taking a piece. So now it's almost too late for me now because he's definitely going to scout this piece. That's why he moved over here. I'm coming up, but it's a little too late. I think he was baiting me here with this piece here to take it because the colonel was probably here and the spy was probably here. So he was baiting me. I didn't go for it. But it's too over, too too late. It's over. So that was a defeat. So, but that's a very good uh, lesson there by a uh, platinum martial player. Uh, play defense first. It's more important to save your pieces. You can always capture a captain or major later, but you can't get back these pieces if 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 someone goes on a lotto. Someone recognizes your pattern and, and starts uh, going for your captains and majors and colonels. Uh, it could have easily, he could have easily been down quite a lot. And then if my flag was over to here, it would have been a really tough game for him. So that's it for this one. Uh, this was a quick game, but at least we learned that uh, I think that the top players definitely always try to think defense first. Uh, protect their flag and protect their pieces and then you can go on the offensive once you once your pieces are safe all right thanks for watching bye